Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at saving a Illustrator file that's compatible with earlier versions of Illustrator. I have a Illustrator file here open in CC. You can see that it's all layered. Everything's looking really nice and tidy. Here's Illustrator CS6. I'm going to open the same file here in CS6. I'm going to get a warning that there may be some problems and that's not half of the issue. Let's look at the layers palette here. And when we open up the layers palette, you'll see that we've got a clipping group with things inside it and they're just paths. We've lost the entire structure of the file in open it in CS6 and if you need to share a file with somebody who's using an earlier version of Illustrator or perhaps you're teaching a course and you want to distribute files that anybody can use then this is not the way to do it. So let's just close that file. Let's go back to Illustrator CC and see what we're going to do. I'll choose file and then save as so I can save the file with a new name. I'm going to call it weather element CS6 in this case so that it can be compatible with CS6. I'll save it as an Illustrator file. Everything here is what we're used to doing when we save a file out of Illustrator CC. Click save. Here's where the difference is. You get to choose what version you want your file to be compatible with. If I want mine to be compatible with CS6, I can choose CS6 from this drop down list. I'm going to get a warning that there may be some problems with text layout and some editing features, but let's see what the result looks like because I don't have any text in this file. It's a fairly simple Illustrator CC file, but I want it to look pretty much like this by the time it gets to CS6. So I'll just click OK. I'll click OK again just to confirm that there are some changes that might not be what I want. But since I have this saved as a CC version file anyway, I'm not losing anything in the process. Let's go back to CS6. Let's choose File and Open. Let's go and get the file that I just saved. Click Open. Now let's have a look at the layers palette and here is our layers palette. It looks pretty much the same as the layer palette here in CC. So you can see we've still got the objects, they're all nicely grouped together. So it's easy for somebody to just select an element and copy it, for example. It would have been much, much more difficult if we hadn't saved it with backwards compatibility in it. So anytime you need to save a file so it's more accessible than just to somebody who's using Illustrator CC, that's how you do it. If you enjoyed the video tutorial, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe and turn notifications on too and we'll let you know when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel.